Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 27th going to the 5th of March. So we're going to dive straight into it and see what's going on for you guys. Let's pull your cards out first and then we'll talk about it. Okay, for Virgo please. Okay. You guys feel a little bit stuck. All right. What is this? A little bit, kind of. Okay. Sorry, I will pull. Let me get my head together and then I will let you know what I'm seeing. Clarify this, please. We have very strong Piscean energy coming through in your reading. Very, like, you could be very much caught up in your imagination, or this could be someone that you're dealing with, the, with the King of Cups here. The Four of Cups, someone's feeling a little bit jaded, a little bit bored, a little bit. Maybe there's some rejection here or some withheld information with the high priestess for some reason i feel like some of you could be meditating a lot more being guided to meditate a lot more let me show you what i'm seeing hanged man high priestess and the four of cups all of this is very up in your head you could be visualizing when you're in a situation that you feel a little bit stuck in. Maybe you're really thinking about the future. There's not much that you can change in your current situation is what it feels like at this moment. I feel like you could be really needing to pay attention to your dream state because you do have time for a nap. Spirit is kind of saying this is a good time to rest. I, but I think you're wanting to do more. But you're being guided to take some time for yourself, especially for your health. Like, I think things are going to be changing for you soon, but this week, and I, I've, we've picked up on a lot of changes happening for you. But within this week, I kind of feel like you're feeling like things aren't happening in the right time. You could be wanting to make some sort of big move in your life and definitely some sort of leap of faith because the last oracle card you have is serendipity, which is taking a complete, like, risk. You're kind of going with the wind is when it feels like serendipity is being in the right place at the right time and opportunity seems to come your way. This is not just a coincidence. You were guided towards being in this place at this time. Which is probably why there's, things have been a little bit stuck with the never-ending story. The timing seems off to you, but towards the universe, this is completely destined. So you're being guided to, to rest because th things are going to start heating up is what I'm hearing. Things are going to start moving, changing, shifting for you. So anyway, we do have this King of Cups here and the Knight of Cups underneath this. So again, if you are dealing with someone in terms of love, there could be a little bit of like rejection or distance from this person here with the Four of Cups. Maybe someone's up in their head or you're up in, in yours. Someone's perceiving someone as being quite distant or holding back. What's this High Priestess, please? Maybe someone has some fears about the future and this is something that they can't get out of their head. Eight of Swords. Someone's feeling a little bit stuck about where things are going moving forward with that Two of Wands. This could be you. This could be another person. So take it as it is. Two of Wands is like thinking about the future and the next step and growing, evolving, expanding. The Eight of Swords comes in as a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of like maybe being a bit scared of what the future holds. Clarify this Eight of Swords, what's causing this fear? Page of Pentacles, there might be like new things. This could be a new job, by the way. Someone could be worried about a new job or a new financial investment of some kind. Maybe about money, okay, moving forward. Maybe you're dealing with some subconscious fears to do with money and finances and this is what you're addressing within this week. You're having, you're having intuitive downloads. You're going to see it in your dream state, by the way. Or if you're meditating. Or in terms of your job here, it's just like very heavy energy on these pentacles. But I think someone's fear in this is kind of new things. Having to learn new things, having to start fresh, having to invest in something. Two 
Two of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Wands. It's completely new beginnings. So this is good. This is passion. This is ambitious. This is fiery energy. It's momentum. It's movement, okay? Passion. But the fear of this is blocking the passion for a new beginning. So just pay attention to that. Maybe this is why the universe has put you in a little bit of like a stay stuck where you are whilst you deal with these fears. Now, with the never-ending story again, we might be wanting to rush something. And this actually could be a little bit more damaging for you. So just pay attention to this. Whilst you're waiting for something, it's really important to catch up on the self-care. Catch up on the things that you need to do. Rather than waiting for something specific. Because I think you're getting a little bit tired with waiting. But the more that you sit and wait, as you can see, like her color is draining from her, as you can see. So the more that we're fixated on something that is beyond our control the more you are going to be kind of damaging yourself in some way. There's a more productive way of seeing this period of rest or this period of stagnancy. And I say it like this because nothing is really stagnant. Things are always moving, but the timing of it seems stagnant for you, not to the universe. <laughs> Clarify the hanged man here. So wait, the high priestess here, this could just be your subconscious mind again, but the high priestess does speak of like hidden knowledge and maybe this is something that we're fearing. There's this desire to want more, but there is maybe an internal fear that we need to address of, do you believe you can have more though? Because they're wanting, they're wanting you to address some fears. Is there anything being withheld here with the high priestess? Just wish fulfillment. <laughs> What you don't see is that you're going to get exactly what you want. So don't be afraid of what you are putting as a target here. Even if it seems out of reach, it's completely in your reach. Like, don't forget that you're an unlimited being. Don't limit yourself. Okay, what's the hanged man here for? You're wanting to take that leap of faith. You're wanting this new path already. We did have in the, like, part, like in the last reading I did for you, like this timeline leap. Just kind of being in this new world. Which I do see. Things are changing around you. And I think this is something that we're not quite seeing here. Because I think you're looking at the things that aren't changing. The things that you really, really, really want to change aren't changing. But everything else is. And that's what you're not seeing. That there is change going on. The, the wind is blowing, but you can't see it just yet because it's not moving the things you want it to move. Like, can you understand what I'm saying here? Eight of Wands communication is coming through. This could be opportunities, all right, coming your way. Already coming your way. The Four card coming through with the Hanged Man is like mm, this desire to take a leap, this desire for change is already happening. It is already happening. I think you're going to get that call, by the way, to just take that leap of faith, which is good. It is Everything is coming in. It is coming in. It is already coming in. But it's like this, this dream state that you seem to be in and this holding on to, well, this hasn't changed. Like, I don't see this money in my bank yet. Like, don't want, this is all happening to get to that point. Like, there is change around you. And if they, if you can see it, it may not be in the areas that you want it to be in just yet. That will take a little bit of time because we have pentacles here. We have wands here. The wands, as we can see, are already changing for you. So this may seem small, but this is like what's building the foundation, getting towards the four of pentacles. That Those pentacles. Yeah, look, temperance is underneath that. Look, be patient when it comes down to these big things. Whether that's like the home or like whatever it is, the finances. The opportunities are coming in for this to happen. You just maybe need to take a leap of faith on these things. So some of you may have may be holding back from taking leaps of faith with opportunities coming in, collaborations coming in, and you're complaining. <laughs> when is my money gonna improve? Or when is this gonna happen? For some of you, but you're not taking that leap. Now for others of you, it's purely just a timing thing. Let's clarify the four of cups, please, for Virgo. I have so many, but hey, I'll do it for you. Only because we have the two of cups on the top here. Mm. 
Okay, there definitely is a conversation coming through with maybe someone who wants to invest in you, but for some of you, there could be a little bit of distance and detachment from somebody here in terms of maybe love or romance. Because you have the Emperor and the uh, Queen of Swords. Of course, this could be other people. It doesn't have to be romantic, but these are people that you could be having to communicate with. The Two of Cups is a mutual energy, okay? This is a good card for partnerships in general. Some of you here, Virgo, like, I'm just getting a sense of maybe there's a lot of pride or ego coming through here that's creating a distance between you and somebody. I don't like this combination. I am going to clarify it because you have the Six of Swords and the Ten of Wands here. So this could be travel coming through. Maybe some of you need to change the scenes because something is becoming very heavy for you. So if you need a break or someone in this dynamic needs a break or needs some time out to release something, to figure something out. But let's see what this, this Queen of Swords and the Emperor is. This is an interesting combination. Because as you can see, someone is like holding back. And someone's not even looking at the other person in the eye. Like it's almost like there's some disconnect here. Let's, let's see what this is. Okay, so you have the Four of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So this is usually, you know, things moving fast, things moving forward. Four of Wands is a coming together, people. But maybe someone's trying to, someone could be trying to sabotage this. I'm almost seeing the Knight of Swords kind of cutting something that was really, something that everyone was celebrating. Someone's coming in and just completely cutting it down, shutting it down. Or maybe someone in this dynamic is doing that. Or it could be external. Take it as it is. Some of you, there could be some news or truth coming in that's cutting this down. We then have the Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups, and Three of Cups. Three of Cups is usually celebration, like the Four of Wands is, but Seven of Cups and Eight of Cups is like illusion and confusion. Someone's feelings are a bit mixed up here. This is a very confusing dynamic yeah the two of cups being clarified by the knight of cups this definitely feels romantic but what's this confusion eight of pent maybe someone is just very confused and someone else is feeling a bit left out in the cold eight of cups someone's planning on leaving something yeah judgment releasing something there's a little bit of... Because we have the Eight of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups, which is work-related. Oh, this is someone who wants to put work in. But there is some mixed matched feelings. What's the Three of Cups here for? There could be conflict or competition here. Or there's a lot of chaos coming in. This is really frustrating because it kind of feels like good is coming in, but then something comes in and ruins it. Like something is ruining a connection. Someone's bluntness or something. Someone else. This is very strange. Some of you might get good news and then get bad news straight after you. Or maybe that's already happened. Queen of Swords and the Emperor, this feels very business mode for the both of them. Like the both of them aren't playing around. Now, Two of Cups, there is emotion here. But it's like that's not being communicated. Clarify for the Emperor. So it's the Emperor that's maybe bringing in the conflict or going through conflict. Having to deal with something here. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Five of Pentacles. So it's the Queen of Swords that is detaching herself because she feels a little bit hurt. So she's becoming cold on the exterior when on the interior. This person is wanting to be held. This person is wanting to be comforted. Now you do have mending on the bottom of the deck here. And the email going off is just kind of just even more confirmation. Five of Wands with the Emperor. Maybe someone's having a lot to deal with. Or is a bit conflicted at this moment. They're having to deal with their ish. <laughs> the Emperor is very, you know, building an empire here. It's a very masculine energy coming through you know action taking sometimes they come across as very like 
maybe arrogant or like the queen of swords five of pentacles someone's not even engaging in this is becoming quite cold on the exterior because they're feeling emotionally like their emotional needs aren't being met this could be you virgo there's some deep emotions coming through here that's being hidden and this person five of wands devil on the tower so sorry i didn't mean to touch the mic the tower and the devil maybe someone's going through their own like demons here the tower like we have the ten of pentacles underneath this and the empress so a lot of abundance is coming through but it feels like someone's having to deal with a lot of toxic people or toxic things in their life or dealing with their demons there's a lot of chaos in their mind here so the tower is falling and then this is bringing in that emotional side, that King of Cups. So things are a little bit stagnant now, which is not what you want, not what you like to hear. I think this is kind of ru ruining your progress, at least that's what it feels like. Let me clarify this serendipity card. Alright, what's the serendipity card, please? From Virgo. Why? What a very ambiguous card coming through with the Wheel of Fortune again. This is fate. Fate. Fate it. This is divine timing. Three of Wands is like, wait, Virgo. Just wait. Just wait. Because if things are a little bit stagnant, the wheel is always turning. So if it feels like things are currently a little bit difficult for you to deal with and things are a little bit like, oh, I'm just so frustrated, like you might be more irritable. So again, time for a nap is like, okay, just rest. Stop pressing on the accelerator when the handbrake is on. Like, just stop. Allow the universe to let the handbrake down. And then you can go when the right time is. You're frustrating yourself by trying to force something in, in a timing that doesn't need to happen, okay? All right, serendipity, please. Let's see what this opportunity is. This being in the right place at the right time. The full card. This is so ambiguous. This is that leap of faith. That is what it is that you need. Okay, bear with me just a sec. Sorry, Virgo, the door went, uh, the doorbell went, so I had to go and run towards her. So, anyways, um, the full card maybe that is a sig like significant for you that something is arriving because that came out when the full card jumped out. So, complete new journey now is the right time. You'll be able to take that leap of faith. But what is the leap of faith, the artist? into that world that you're creating so this does have some direct link to the last reading that we had of that thing that you're visualizing the thing that you're bringing to life the way that you want to be you know the things that you're wanting and waiting for those are now changing but just make sure you're looking at the fact that things are already changing there are already things coming to you you'll see the subtle hints of this but then bam when the timing is right you're going to spot something see something you're like <gasps> This is exactly what I was praying for. This is exactly what I was asking for. And you have free will to take it. And you are going to take it. But Wheel of Fortune with the Three of Wands. Wait, you've already put the energy out there. It's already happening. This fear-based mindset of it's not coming in. Why is it not coming in? Like, it's not, it's not happening. Like, I'm doing all the work. The never-ending story is like, when... I'm stuck here, you know, like, don't fall into that. The time for a nap is rest. Understand everything is already happening in your favor. All right? The timing of it is always right. The universe is always working in your favor, even when it doesn't look like it. So you're, you are taking this, you know, timeline leap, kind of jumping into a new destiny, that whatever it is you've been praying for. The artist is this whatever you've been visualizing and bringing to life you will then see it like you'll see it and i feel like this is going to be kind of crazy like you might get like an opportunity or it could be a specific person or whatever it is you're trying to bring in a new world you could just get this urge this sudden opportunity to just take a leap of faith this could be moving somewhere complete new state city country you're going to just see an opening to it and you're like that's it this is exactly what i was waiting for I'm hearing that's I'm so sorry, oh my god. I'm hearing that's pretty. That's pretty. People might be calling you pretty. 
whatever you're doing is, is pretty. Yeah, coming through for Virgo. Oof. Oof. Some of you Virgos, very, this is very specific coming in for you. So you have short journey. So again, maybe some of you need a little bit of a break coming through with the horse here. Taking a short journey could be very beneficial to you and something that's happening within this week. Now, one thing I am seeing, and this is kind of like a, a storyline, how these three came out. We have don't be tempted to lower your standards. Like, don't feel like you need to settle for less. All right. Specifically, when it comes down to either a dark man, so someone with a dark complexion, dark hair, and the law. All right. So this could be decision making or this could be to do with contracts and legal situations. So you may be having something coming through here where they're saying don't settle. Make sure you make sure things are fair for you, Virgo. Make sure that you don't lower your standards. Don't be convinced by something here. Maybe this is what's causing that conflict with that emperor. Your needs aren't being met. Your emotional needs aren't being met. So you're becoming very like cold against somebody here because they're not listening. But keep adamant on this. Like, don't give in to that. This person's going to go through this tower moment and that devil energy where they have to let go of the need to control. That could be that emperor energy, okay? Yeah, a sincere wish will be granted. So you are going to get what it is that you want here, Virgo. But, like, just make sure you are aiming for that, okay? Now you have Ant coming through. So work, achievement, and success. This is amazing for you, Virgo. And you also have fair woman, okay? So an opportunity may come in terms of a fair woman. So relationships with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Or again, in terms of work, because these two did come out together. The, oh, this, is, this could be you, Virgo. So this is success for you coming through here as well. Anything else? Oop, that's way too many, but I will take the first two that jump out there. I just realized I put short journey in on the full card. So some of you could be moving. We have November coming through. Interesting. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. You don't have to be though. Or Sagittarius. But this says increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So between now and November, or something may have happened in November, something you've been already working for for, for since November. Um, this is saying to keep pursuing us increase your efforts do a little bit more if you wish um put more work into it because this is going to pay off for you okay all right my angels so i love you guys i wish you all the best i will see you guys next time i appreciate you all for being here for spending this time with me i'm sending you all my love and i hope to see you guys next time